Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So it's been uh, a minute or two since I did my last video, um, and actually the last video was a advertisement for the uh, Acme show coming up down in Atlanta in October of 2024. That's a couple months away. But um, the previous video to that, I, I believe I was talking about my Dale Earnhardt 81 Pontiac Grand Prix build. And uh, so I've been kind of working on it off and on, not real steady, but you know, as time permits. And I actually have another setback. I, I just now this is an older kit. Um, you guys probably remember this, but this is a two car kit, and I picked this up at Acme down in Atlanta back in well, that was two years ago, anyway. Um, now, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is some of the box art of the builds. Now, it shows that uh, the Pontiac Grand Prix actually has a blue interior on it. Now, I, I talked about this in my last video that it wasn't a blue interior at all. Uh, sorry about the focus. I noticed it just kind of fuzzed out on us, but it's back. Um, in my last video, I talked about how Dale Earnhardt took over driving from Richard Childress uh, about mid-season. I think it was uh, 11 races that he raced that year in this car. And it was originally white when Richard Childress was driving it. Now, when Dale Earnhardt took over, he brought the Wrangler sponsorship with him, so they painted the outside of the car. They didn't take the car apart and paint the inside of it. So. It actually had a white interior, which you guys have seen this already. The interior is white, and the inside of the car, this is the roll cage um, that I just haven't mounted to the body yet, but the interior of the car was actually black. Um, that was the colors that Richard Childress was uh, was driving. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the reason why I showed you the box art. The box art is actually not accurate to the information that I found on the internet but I'm kind of rambling uh, the reason why I really wanted to come on and I talked about it here just a second ago is a little bit of a setback um, older kit um, so I'm not gonna bash it too hard because it's been around for a while and I'm sure some of you probably already know about these issues one of the issues I didn't know and as you can tell I'm just about ready to start doing some final assemblies you know, I got the body more or less done. I still need to clear it, but I was putting the glass in. I got the front windshield in. I got the back windshield in. I got all the decals on it, um, and I was going to do these quarter glasses here in the back. And this is what I found. So, this is the glass that came in the kit and you can see I've already uh, did the black around the perimeter of the glass um, but that's the glass that came in the kit I had to hand make this one because look at the difference in size the glass that came in the kit don't fit so I actually had to hand make one now, you might be asking, how did you hand make a quarter glass? I'll show you something. Plastic packaging. All right, and I'm actually going to save this. This this is a code reader that we got for, you know, reading codes on the cars and stuff. But you see this plastic on here? It it would make really good windshields, back glasses, quarter glasses. Um, but that's that's what I sourced this glass from to go in the car so like I said setback yes something I can't overcome obviously no uh, it, it's just another step that I got to go through <clears throat> to get this thing done so I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures here in just a minute of where I'm at I'm really close to final assembly 
uh, but I've got a couple of things left that I still need to do and uh, once I get all the stuff painted then final assembly and it shouldn't take very long before this thing's done but the pace I'm going heck that might be <laughs> who knows um, okay so I was talking with Ernie uh, Ernie Hatmaker my wife a lot of you know her um, you know that she's got a channel on YouTube and I kind of asked her a little advice my channel name and you guys already know this but I'm gonna say it anyway Ed's attention to detail uh, there's some detail that I'm leaving off of this kit and one of the reasons why I'm doing that is because I know that this car is going to end up as a shelf queen. It's not ever going to go to any shows. Um, I mean, I'm trying to make it look as good as possible without throwing a whole bunch of aftermarket stuff at it. I've already thrown a couple aftermarket pieces at it, and I really wasn't intending on doing that. This was going to be a box stock build. Uh, one of the things that I did was I ordered, and you see the seat belt. Alright, those are decals <clears throat> that I got, and I actually, I cut some sheet styrene and put the decal on the, on the sheet styrene, and then cut that out and, and put them in the seat, because it didn't have any seat belts. So that's one addition that I made, and I told you guys before that I was going to change the window net, and you can see this is actually screen off of like a house or a screen door a house window what but this is this is actually screen and so I've, I've cut the other one out and put this one in and the reason why I did that was I thought the other one was a bit too bulky and you really couldn't see through it and I kind of want to see the interior of the car a little bit um, now one of the things that I talked about Ed's attention to detail something that I'm not gonna do normally I will wire the distributor and on these NASCARs I'll do like the oil pump and you know have lines and everything I'm not gonna do all that um, like I said this uh, this car is gonna end up as a shelf queen so I'm not gonna put a lot of the extra details into it now with that being said I am still paying attention to things little details uh, little details that'll be on the car like the exhaust right here I'm not sure if you can see that but so I opened up the end of the exhaust so that when it's on the side of the car it does still kind of look like exhaust and not just some plastic piece of sprue sticking outside of the the finished model so still box stock just kind of changed a little bit uh, so yeah I told you I'm gonna show you some pictures of where we're at things that I've got uh, pretty much ready to go together but that's my update um, my setback update if you want to call it that but uh, we're pushing through and we're really close to the end and even though I'm not gonna make you know the the grand details on this I still think it's gonna look nice when it's done and that's really my goal is just something that's gonna look nice sitting on the shelf because I've got not only the other Monte Carlo to build out of this kit I've got a, I think it's an 88 Dale Earnhardt Monte Carlo, and that's the black Intimidator Monte Carlo. So I've got that one to build. Um, I've already got my Dale Earnhardt Lumina, Dale Earnhardt Monte Carlo builds that I've done in the past. 
and I've got several other NASCAR builds. So I'm going to have a small collection of NASCAR, but it's mainly going to be Dale Earnhardt. Oh, yeah, one last thing. If anybody that's in the NASCAR group build or, or anybody building anything else, one of the things that's in these kits, this piece right here, This is, it's supposed to be a video camera, I, I guess for like when they do in-car videos during the race. So it's got this video camera that comes as part of the kit. I'm not going to use it. Um, so I've got this one and the Monte Carlo uh, in the same kit has one of these video cameras. So if any of you guys would like to have that video camera, um, I've got two of them. Just uh, put something in the comments for this video and say, you know, I'd like to have the camera and uh, we'll get in touch and figure out how I can get them to you. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and remember, God bless, take care, pay attention to the details. We'll see y'all again soon.